So in all these things now do some men still come to toast you? Because uh -uh. you don't look like a mommy now. No. You don't look like a wife. No. Nothing. Is there anybody that men don't talk to? <laughs> Welcome to another episode on Spice with Scholar. I am Scholar. On today's episode, I have got one of the top YouTubers from Nigeria. I've got Alma in the building. But just before we see Alma, I hope you've been following all the episodes because I have been spilling the tea. And today, we're going to be doing the same. So, let's go. So, welcome. Today, I've got someone special. Alma, how Hi. are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Do you know you? what it means to have Alma on your show or to see Alma? I'm just a regular human being. Oh, please. Girl Alma next, the brown. Girl next door. Oh, no. <laughs> I reject it for her. This is a brand. Do you know what it means to oh, have her? Yes. How are you, Alma? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. You, you look, look so amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> You look so oh beautiful. I was standing here, I was you. like, you're actually this fair. I've I seen am. Alma, yeah, but I'm, I'm like, I've seen her, I'm like, eh, this mm -hmm. Oyo child. Yeah, like, I'm actually really like white, man. But anyways, <laughs> can you give us a little intro about yourself? Mm, okay, my name is Alma Ngu, not Alma Ngo. People always call me Alma Ngo, please. My name is Alma Ngu. I am a lifestyle content creator and a YouTuber. I'm a wife. Mom of one. Me. Um, what else? I'm an all rounder basically. I do everything. She's a brand. I do everything. I dance. I oh, yes. But you're forgetting to tell them I you're act, a brand. I, well, I act on Instagram, not professionally, but yeah. But well, Alma, I need you to tell them all you are a brand. A brand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's a brand. Like, <laughs> how does it feel to be an influencer, a top? Ah, please oh my you are you are saying this thing. I always ha. tell you, like <laughs> you can't you can't say influencers in Abuja and you don't call her. Like you're the first. Mm. Stop that. I would please. say like top five. Not top five. Not like she's the first. first. She's the first actually. Anyway. She's just being humble. <laughs> yeah. Please bring more deals to her. Bring oh it for her. How does it feel? Because I know you went from blogging mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. days, like yeah. the streets of Abuja knew you. Oh yeah. And then you were selling bouquets. Ah, you know. I've been following. Yeah, I've oh been following since then. And you know the then <laughs> you just went into influencing, mm -hmm. and from influencing you became boom. Mm -hmm. It's so what was it like for you? And then you had a 9 to 5. Oh yeah. Like I've done it all basically. And she's never, she doesn't plan I on going have, back to a 9 to 5. Never. <laughs> never doing it again. So how was that transitioning like for you? Um, It was a gradual process. It didn't just happen overnight. Mm -hmm. I mean like you said before, I had a 9 to 5 job first. Mm -hmm. While I had a 9 to 5 job, I had a blog. Then it was all about blogs. So yeah. I had a blog I was running while I had a 9 to 5 job. And then I quit my job. Three months to my wedding. Wow. And then I became broke. <laughs> oh my, you quit and, your job. Yeah, I did. Wow. I quit my job. I wasn't happy anymore. So oh I just yeah, quit. you said that. Yeah. And then by the following, by the by the end of that year, I realized, okay, now I'm broke. What do I do? Then I realized, okay, I made my bouquet for my wedding. I might as mm -hmm. well just start making bouquets, right? Mm -hmm. For brides. Okay. So I did that for a while. And then blogging was not paying one naira. We all know how we used to hustle for like free clothes then. If you give me one free top But like you were a top blogger. Then eh? okay, we're top we, bloggers. But ah, we don't with to your page. Money. Like we don't it's to like anybody. This one will charge me. Oh. Ah. We don't used to make any money at all. It was all about free products then, mm -hmm. you know. But then again, as the following, you know, grew, the engagement grew mm -hmm. and the years that. passed, obviously now influencing is now something that everybody is now the into. Intern. So yeah, can I say? So what has oh what has it been like influencing and being like the <gasps> rave? See you pushing up my scholar, the way she's saying this thing. But anyways, it's been it has its hits and misses, mm -hmm. right? So Neither here nor there. What can I say? I'm grateful. I'm thankful. It can be better because I'm, to be honest, I'm not where I want to be. Mm -hmm. I'm just being honest. I'm not where I want to be, but so far so good. I can't complain. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so what's it like, the industry? Mm -hmm. Do you think you have a lot of competition or hmm. what's I, it like? I just said it now that everybody's an influencer. <laughs> I said it's everybody. Go but does this thing affect you? How? It does it. Oh my, like, I think your brand is just different. Yeah, I think you need to find a way to stand out. So, yes, everybody now wants to be an influencer or a content yeah. creator. Like, everybody. I'm not like, who is going to be the viewer? Yeah, that's if, the thing. Like, all of us are doing the content. Who will now be the viewer? You know, but I think you find a way to just stand out mm -hmm. from the crowd. You know, make sure your content is like 
different or unique from what everybody else is doing. You know, so yeah, I think that would be what makes me unique or what makes me stand out from the crowd. Yeah, that's it. At the end of the day, she's a brand, the brand. like I said. The brand. That the brand is also like I feel important too. No, but you are but important. But then everyone now calling me Alma the brand. Of like, course. <gasps> like, Alma Anyways. the brand. That's how you call it. Don't call it Alma. Alma the brand. Right here, yeah. Good. <laughs> Alma, I was going to ask you if you cook, but I follow your YouTube mm -hmm. channel, so I know you cook. That's like And cook. that fried rice. That's special fried rice. Mm -hmm. I know I asked you about it one time. I have the mm -hmm. recipe. I wrote it down. Are you serious? Ah. <laughs> I was like, I wrote it down. I was going to tell you to cook it here, but I was like, mm -hmm. mm, for time. Oh, and I don't want fun. to eat it with people. Ah, you don't want to share That's it. That's why. <laughs> but today, we're just going to eat mm -hmm. and have conversations All about right. your journey. Gonna Are you fun. ready? I'm ready. I know you like um, small ready. chops. You're oh, yes. Fan. You're a fan of small chops. Oh, yes. But do you think I have that for you today? Ha, scholar. I don't know. Just surprise me. Shock me. Okay. Shock me. Shock me. Please, can you guys give me my box? Let's mm -hmm. see what we have for Alma yes. today. Number one foodie right Alma. Here. Yes. This box is for you. This whole box? Yes. Ah, wahala. Well, yeah, open, open, open. Can I, I can't open it. <laughs> can you guess what's inside this box? Wait. No, it's not just small chops. Uh, well, small chops is... Oh, you, you, you use I'm weights? To, yeah, I'm using the weights to... Um, okay, small chops is here. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a main dish or something as well. Okay, are you Maybe ready like to find a out? A rice dish or something. I'm ready, I'm ready. Like I was born ready. It's all yours. I should open it. It's your box now. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Your box. Well, first of all, it says spice with color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, 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 wahala. Oh. Oh, yes, 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 and yes. Ah! Mm -mm. <laughs> I know! Oh my goodness! Guys, this is. Oh, wow. I know Alma loves things like this, so. Yeah. There we go. Wow. That looks good. Mm, I know. That looks very good. I know. Alma, Alma has taste for good food, oh, so. Yeah. I love me some good food. Um, are you ready to dig in? Yes, I am. Yeah. To give me the proper tea. Yes, I am. We are spilling the tea. Wow. Alma, what do you mm -hmm. have to say about that to your video that went viral? Which TikTok? one? <laughs> you see, when I say she's a brand, she's asking me which one. The one, which one? please go ahead and eat. It's all yours. Which one? The one that mm. um, you were mimicking some people. Miss Universe. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was one video I was like, where did Alma wake up from? Know, where did she see this video? What's I happening? Know, I don't even know. And I was like, what's where? From where? It was trending because during that time, Miss Universe was going on. Yes. So it was trending. I had seen it on TikTok and I'm like, you know what? I must do this thing. It can't be so difficult. I, I must do it. And lo and behold. We did it, and the two videos have almost 15 million views. Like, so you see, you, Brando, <laughs> the Brando, she's it. talking. The two Let's videos, she did, she did the first video, and mm -hmm. it was like, it, I was the like, first one did so well. Yes, I was like, ah, where's this? And then we told her, do a second one <laughs> Please, for us, definitely. <laughs> like, mm. so since then, I know, like, your Instagram has been, I think the first video I noticed from your page was mm -hmm. the one you did the voiceover. Hmm. Yeah, Which one? Doing, that, that was the first video you dropped. The first time we heard your voice, Alma, it was for an ad. Really? You and remember things, so. Me, I don't remember all these things that you are saying. I tell you, I follow you. <laughs> I'm always rooting for you. The first video I heard Alma's voice, mm -hmm. and I was like, did she go to his studio to mm. record? I was like, this is so clean. Mm. Like, I, I think I asked you what she used to edit, mm -hmm. because I wanted to know if it was you that did it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, how? And you use minimalist to do your things. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, how? Not so much. Like you use like the air is moving, it's your window that is doing <laughs> it, it's your like your spray bottle, the water. I'm like, how do you do I this? I know, I know. You just make the best of like everyday things. Like you mm -hmm. said right now, the curtains in my bedroom, yeah. they are white. Mm -hmm. If I want to do like a sultry ad, or like a sexy ad for like a brand, I would just open up the windows, allow the natural air eh, to, to be blown. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not you on your camera. It's really yeah, like, as if you use one. Because I'm one like, where did you studio? go to, to do this? Nah. And I'm like, so with this, did you learn it with Jesse, your husband? To be honest, you no. Know, in regards to videography, I'm the one who is even teaching him. 
his 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 um expertise is photography. Photography, yeah. yeah. But when it comes to videos and stuff, that's me. Because I'm like, yeah. how? Mm -hmm. Like, how are you doing it? So oh, let's I'm not go to. I'm going to eat. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. It's your food. I want you to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. I want. Mm -hmm. It's a different person on YouTube. Like, got like different personalities. Instagram is a mad person. YouTube Instagram is, is like an agbero. <laughs> YouTube is like okay. I am Mia's mother. Mm -hmm. I have to just okay. Oh, yeah, and I she's go a to mom. Events, yeah, I she's do a mom. That. Yeah. So she goes for events and she takes us through. So I want. I can remember mm -hmm. your first YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Now, can you remember that video? It's amazing how you can't even recall because... I've been following you since. Like you've been an OG, Sha. I've been following you ah. since. Now, that first video, can you recall it? Mm -hmm. What was that video? It was a makeup tutorial. What was the color of the eyeshadow? That time everybody was doing makeup tutorials. <laughs> Mama was teaching also. She was teaching her makeup. She like put the blue eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. It was the blue eyeshadow. It was the blue eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Now with that, you started with makeup. Mm -hmm. From makeup, you started giving us vlogs. Mm -hmm. Were you comfortable at first when you were giving vlogs? No, because it was very new to me. Mm -hmm. And my first vlog was actually a Lagos vlog. I had gone to Lagos for a friend's wedding. Yes. For like two days. And I only had a seven minutes vlog. Can you imagine going to Lagos for like two or three days? I only just have seven minutes. minutes vlog. Wow. In today's modern day age, it's like people give us like forty you minutes. Like, you have like no, you have like five different vlogs. Yes, <laughs> like to break it down. Yeah, you know. But yeah, it was completely different. But the more I did it, mm -hmm. the more I got used to it, and oh. I realized that people actually love my vlogs more than mm -hmm. you know beauty content. Then yeah, you know? I feel like vlogs is what pushed my channel. Yes, you know. So yeah. yeah. So did you think like with the vlogs, people were intruding into your privacy? But at the end, you're the definitely. one that I give. But you give us what to watch. Like, definitely. You see, people will always intrude. Even if you're doing only fashion content, or you're doing only travel. <laughs> oh, there is always one annoying person in the comments. They say, why are you doing it this way? Yes, they are always there. They are, they are always and they will always be there. So do your husband yeah. have an issue with vlogs at the beginning? It's like, babes, nope. don't show me. Mm -hmm. I know he has always been there from day one. From day one. Like, oh, when you're like, babes, let's do this video. He will sit down. Let's yeah. do the video. <laughs> he's super supportive. As a matter of fact, he got me my very first camera. So yeah, he said how supportive that. He is. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just used to the lifestyle. He's used but to it. This is right my wife. She's a branch. <laughs> <laughs> so they're saying, oh, this is my wife. She's a branch. He's very proud. That's what I can see. So in all these things now, do some men still come to toast you? Because uh -uh. you don't look like a mommy now. No. You don't look like a wife. <laughs> Not seen. Is there anybody that men don't toast? <laughs> Well, yeah. Know, she's a brand, she's a mommy, she's a well, wife. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That uh, one I see. So there's this video you put um, mm -hmm. about TTC mm -hmm. trying to conceive. Mm -hmm. You had a video like that before Mia. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had a video like that when I had gotten pregnant. Yes, yeah. and then I think you wore the red shirt or something. You don't see this girl. <laughs> I remember what I wore. Yeah. That video is like five yeah, years old I can or something. remember because you were like tearing in that video yeah. when you went through and everything. Aww. And Aww. then you still have people that still ask you, mm -hmm. when are you getting, when are you going to give us the next baby? Mm -hmm. How do you respond to things like that? Mm -hmm. Do you get angry when you see it? Or mm -hmm. sometimes you get sad and you start to think? Yeah, especially because people don't know mm -hmm. what you're going through behind closed doors True. you know what you're battling behind closed doors they just type just yeah you know so right now i think i did a video a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. finally answering that question because it's a question i always dodge because it gets me emotional it gets me a particular point that i don't like you know so but i answered and i was like you know what i've been trying mm -hmm. okay it's not happening so, you so guys, let me breathe stop asking <laughs> let me breathe <laughs> I saw you answer it and I was like, yeah. I was like, you guys would have asked Alma this question mm -hmm. a lot like, of times way and then she's times. finally answering. Way too many times. And I saw people's comments, some said, oh, you don't have to explain to anybody. Yeah. Let it be, let mm -hmm. it be. But Nigerians don't have, or majority of people, not just Nigerians, but some Nigerians would definitely not quite and right. Even with that video, they will still ask. Yes, I know people are still going to ask after the video. Yes, like, so when is it going to happen again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I think with me, you know, mm -hmm. being putting your life out there or being in the spotlight, mm -hmm. you have to bring thick skin to certain things. You can't allow yes. everything to be worrying, everything to be bothering you. You can't. That's Alma. Um, uh, it doesn't like, go down. <laughs> like, you can't. not putting money in her. Account. I think it was initially when I first started blogging that comments used to get to me, you know, I'd be like, ha, ah, why would this person sit down and type this and send to me? What have I done? You know, but not now. Mm. I just block, delete, keep moving, you know? Honestly, so, like that's yeah. it. So how did you feel to get your first dream car? Hmm. I was so excited. It felt like I was in the car. 
I was like, finally she did it. And I think that was a period where you were complaining YouTube algorithm. Was it during that period? I think no, so. No, 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 no. The algorithm thing was more recent than the car thing. My car is almost two years old. Okay, because I know you were yeah. complaining about oh YouTube algorithm one time yeah. it was going down. Yeah. All yeah. I wanted to cry. We're like, so we're like, we watch the videos. Don't worry, ah, don't cry. We'll, we'll, we'll go back and watch, watch your videos. You know what they you. need to all that effort for the videos. Yes, and then you hey. don't get it. Like she really wanted mm -hmm. to cry because see how down she mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. And then, how did you feel about the car? Hmm. It was a long time coming because I got my first car at the age of thirty-two years old. Mm -hmm. A lot of people had their first cars like. 10 years before that, so like mm -hmm. 15 years before that, mm -hmm. but I never got the chance. So for me, it was like, wow. And you can imagine what you've always wanted, finally being able to do it with your own money, mm -hmm. every single penny. penny. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it does not get better than that. Because I'm sure some people will be saying, oh, why is she so excited? This, that, that, that. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Well, Maybe in private they are saying it, yeah, yeah. but nobody, in the public, <laughs> nobody told me. <laughs> oh my god! Everybody was happy. So it felt like I was in a passenger seat. Mm -hmm. So with all this, Alma, how do you still cope with being a mom, mm. school runs, mm. coming out with Mia for events when mm. you need her, and then Mia is a brand ambassador. <laughs> eh? Mia has her page. Mia tries. That, no, she doesn't try. <laughs> Mia is a brand. She is a brand. Um, she um, is that influencer I'm child, to like her mom. Like me. And she's doing so well. She knows. She knows the poses. She knows the oh, angles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's you. Oh yeah. You're doing that. Too. I am. She's learning from me. She watches me. Everything I do. She has she to create her school fees. But well, she's already paying her school fees. Yes, like, and like it's so lovely. Mm -hmm. Like when when Alma was like, please, you guys follow me. Yes. I was like, like why are you begging us? <laughs> This is our influencer, not even with you. Why are you begging us? Oh but with everything, how do you balance? Hmm. It's a lot. But the one thing I would always tell people is get help and delegate. It's very important. See, I'm yes, not one of those women that likes to be a woman. I can no, do it. No, I'm not like I'll sweep, I'll cook. I, eh. Well, I cook. Yeah, you do. I, I actually do cook. Like, but she will wake up and eat. travel. But <laughs> she will drop me out with grandma like, and, and she will off. go and breathe. I'm telling That's you, one breathe. thing I love about mm -hmm. you. Like, you I know, try not to feel guilty. You know when to, like, I need this break. I need oh, this yeah. holiday. Oh, and yeah. it's. How was your trip to Ghana? Ooh. Alma made me go to Ghana. Yes, that and was I you told her Alma. I am going to Ghana because of you. Mm -hmm. You actually thought I was joking. I thought you were joking, though. In like, saw you in, in like Ghana, two I'm like, weeks, I was like, I'm gone. <laughs> like, I called her when I was trying to change money. Mm -hmm. and messaged her. I'm like, Alma, I don't know what's happening here. I was like, you went to Ghana. I was like, yes, you said we should, we should go to Ghana. <laughs> that was your trip to Ghana. It was amazing. It was my first time in Ghana. I Same know. here. You know, yet again, I'm, there are so many things I'm doing for the first time now, mm -hmm. you know, for obvious reasons. Yeah. You know, I'm going to Ghana was the, was the was my first time going to Ghana in March. Yeah. And I wanted to make the best of it. It was a girl's trip myself and my friend and we had a blast like it was people are like fun. asking me but alma this guy that you went to is not the one i went to it's a different type alma's of almost ghana was Which different ghana is this? almost ghana was different like she enjoyed, for everything alma did on her vlog i wrote it down mm -hmm. i said i'm doing it oh yeah Labadi, we are going there oh yeah everything brasa we are going there everything. everywhere alma went to i went to mm -hmm. and i had Fun. And it was a girl's trip. It was a girl's trip. Yeah, too, just right? me and my sisters. I was like, lovely. Let's go. Let's go and have fun. And it was like the best thing ever. Would you go to Ghana again? Yes, I we will go to Ghana definitely. again. I'm like, going I wake again. up. I wake up nowadays. I'm like, I want to go back to Ghana. To go back to Ghana. I want to go back to Ghana. <laughs> I would say leave Ghana, explore other countries. But we'll see. We have already gone. Yeah. Right. So but it's like out again. of the box, but we'll still go back. We'll go again, definitely. So Amal, um, what do you have to tell people that want to go into influencing? Well, mm -hmm. everybody is now influencing. Everybody but people that I want to wake up, I want to be like Alma. Oh, I want to do this. What would you tell them? Mm. And YouTube as well. Because mm -hmm -hmm. I know you advise us a little. You say, yeah. start. Yeah, start the it. most common advice would be to just start. Mm -hmm. Just start. But then, you can't just start without having a plan, right? True. So you must understand that you have a niche first, mm -hmm. or rather, discover your niche. What is that thing that interests you the most? Mm -hmm. Have your niche. Have an upload schedule, very important. And just jot down your topic ideas way before time. That would also help when it comes to, you know, doing your videos, you know, regularly and all of that. And then don't try to be like anybody else. Oh God, please do not. Mama is so original. Ah, 
think she doesn't care. Just. Sometimes I'm like, oh, are you an art bearer? Or, like this like, moment she's calm, this I mean, moment she's dancing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where is this coming from? Like I wake up at 9 a.m. I'm seeing reels from Alma. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, she has given up yeah. and she's dancing or she's doing some skits. And there was one recently that was on Tunde at not page. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. like, mm. and I'm like, yeah, no, I call that one. Yes, mm -hmm. hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh, I'm so. Whenever I see her, I'm like, yeah, I know her. Oh my, mm -hmm. I've always been waiting for her since. Oh, so thank you. I'm really happy, and thank you for coming on my show. You thank look so pretty. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm wow. so glad. Your husband is going to go you. up camera you are beautiful. now. Ah, thank you. Your baby is. Ha. He needs to pay another bright price. You like, actually have to. Like he needs to pay fresh, like to renew the seven-year contracts we've had. He needs to renew another seven years. Oh, you, you've been married for seven years. <laughs> yeah, I've been married for seven look, years. You still look seven like. Years plus. You still look like that like, one year. By yes, like. Years, ah. <laughs> Anyways, Alma, just before you go, I have mm. something for you. Can you? Oh, yes. Aside this one. Yes, now. Hmm. Is you now always come correct? I don't know what. Just tell me. I can't. You have to guess. Ah, God. You have to guess. A gift. A branded gift. Don't worry. That branded gift is coming. Mm -hmm. I owe you. Okay, okay. I owe you that one. Gift. Special. I don't know what it it's is. It's something that I want you to use to unwind while you edit and everything. I okay. trust you know. What is it? Okay. Can you guys please give me what I have for Alma, please? Mm -hmm. Alma, mm -hmm. this is for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on my show. I've heard so much about this oh. brand. You should actually drink and relax. I will. So while editing, sweet wine is my favorite. Yes, you so can have good. this with your husband mm -hmm. while he edits and while you edit as mm -hmm. well. So editing couple. <laughs> <laughs> it's editing couple. But well, well, it brings oh the money. Goodness. That's it the most does, important it thing. Does. Mm. So guys, thank you for watching the show with Alma. Just in case you want to see, not in case, you need to see more of Alma. Oh yes, the please. brand, because she's a brand. So make sure you follow mm. her on, on all her social media accounts and also subscribe to my channel so you watch more videos. Until next time, I am Scholar and this is Spice with Scholar. Bye bye. Bye. Can where's your Barbie? My Barbie? Yeah. Do you mind being my Barbie? I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> now I have one. <laughs>